Hello my friends, welcome back to the AWS console home. In this tutorial, we're gonna set up a billing alarm so that we can get notified anytime our AWS chargers exceed a certain threshold. We will make sure all along this course to stay in the free tier, this is just a safety measure, okay? So our first step will be to go to the top right here, click the drop down, and then go to billing and cost management. Perfect, then in the left hand panel, you're gonna scroll down a little bit actually all the way to the bottom and go to billing preferences. Perfect. And so since we've just created the account, you will see all this deactivated or not delivered. And we're going to make sure to activate the PDF invoices delivery by email, but also the free tier alerts and the CloudWatch billing alerts. And that's the most important. Indeed, in order to create that billing alarm, we need to turn this on. Okay. So let's start with this. Let's click edit here, take this and then click update. Perfect, PDF invoices delivery by email, now activate it. Now do the same for the alert preferences. Let's click edit, let's tick this, this as well, and let's click update. Updating, and in a second, we'll have them. Perfect, your alert preferences were updated successfully. And now we can create the billing alarm in a specific AWS service, which is called Cloud. Watch. So you just enter CloudWatch in the search bar here, and there you go, you're going to click the first one, CloudWatch Monitor Resources and Applications. This will take you to the CloudWatch service, and then you will see it's super easy. You just need to go to the alarms here, and then, of course, billing, okay? Then, of course, we're going to click Create Alarm here or there, Create Alarm. And here we're going to keep the metric name estimated charges, currency, USD, or your local currency if you prefer. Statistic, we're going to keep that to maximum and for a period of six hours, you know, for the measurement. Then we're going to scroll down and in the conditions, we're going to keep static here, you know, to use a value as a threshold. We're going to keep when estimated charges is greater than a certain threshold, which we will decide here. And so here you can enter whatever threshold value you want. I'm going to choose 10 USD. But of course, if you want to be safer, you can enter, for example, 5 USD or 3 USD. Okay, then let's click next. Then here, in order to create the alarm, first you stay on in alarm here. We're going to have to create a new topic, which is a way for us to receive the email notifications whenever the estimated charges go over the threshold. Then we can keep this name for the new topic, default CloudWatch alarms topic. You will get the same. And then finally, here we have to enter an email, which is actually here an email endpoint that will receive the notification. Okay, so let's all enter our email. It can be the same email as the one that was used to create this AWS account. So there we go. For me, it is cloudwolf2025 at gmail.com. Okay, then we click create topic. Perfect. And now we can go back to selecting an existing SNS topic, which is indeed our default CloudWatch alarms topic. However, before we move on to the next step here, we just have to confirm the subscription in SNS, which is the AWS service operating these topics and subscriptions. As you can see, indeed, it is pending confirmation. And to confirm it, you just have to go back to your email, open that AWS notification subscription confirmation email, which you should receive as soon as you created that topic. And then you simply click confirm subscription. Subscription confirmed, perfect. And now back into your default CloudWatch Alarms topic. Well, if you refresh, you should see here, confirmed. Let's see, let's see. And confirmed, perfect. And now we can proceed to the next step in CloudWatch, okay? So let's scroll down to the bottom, nothing to configure here. We can click next. Then we just have to give a name to our alarm. I'm gonna call it my billing alarm. We click next. Here, this is just a preview of everything we configured, such as the $10 threshold. And finally, we click Create Alarm. And that's it, successfully created alarm, my billing alarm. Now we're all good to go with that important safety measure, and we're ready to start the first hands-on tutorials of this course. So I look forward to seeing you there, and until then, enjoy the cloud. <laughs>